Traders, quick market update here. Um, it's Tuesday, 6 p.m. Um, and the market seems to have rebounded from yesterday's sell-off, right? Yesterday is this big red candle we're looking at, and today is this little green one. And obviously, right now, the overnight session just opened up for uh, Tuesday night, right? So we're looking at the S&P futures. This is just, you know, how you look at the stock market overall. We'll also take a look at NASDAQ, see how that's doing. Um, but we're starting the overnight session a little bit red here, okay? So what I'm looking for um, is for these moving averages to act as support. Obviously, the five plays a little less of a uh, factor here. We're looking at the 20 EMA um, exponential moving average because yesterday seemed like we held above it. So that's a good, good sign for uh, some more upside. Um, but it didn't really convince me today uh, with this bounce, right? We pretty much went to halfway of yesterday's sell-off. Um, and we actually held above the 20, but not too much. The pressure is still on for the shorts, I think, here. So we're going to see if tonight or tomorrow, um, if we could hold this 36.92 level, which, like I said, is the 20 EMA. Okay, so if we can hold above there, that's great. If we start sliding under it, well, then that opens up the door to uh, the next EMA, which would be around 36.15. That's the 50 EMA. All right. So I'm looking at a daily chart. These are just some uh, support levels that I'm looking at. If we do get a sell off, we have that race um, down in Georgia. So that might, you know, bring in some volatility here over the next couple days um, or whenever it's, you know, ending. <laughs> um, but yeah. Keep that in mind. Keep your head on a swivel because things can start to come down a bit if there is some volatility. Okay, so that's just something I'm looking for. If we look at, you know, the shorter time frame stuff, we could see what it did today. Um, so yesterday, obviously, Monday had a nice little sell off. Um, market dropped about, let's see here, from the pre-market highs, 37.73, all the way down to, so we dropped about 100 a um, little over 100 points yesterday in the S&P. And tonight looks like we're starting up um, a little red here. So going to gonna keep that uh, level on watch on, from the daily chart, right? The 20 uh, EMA, which is at 36.92. Okay, so I don't really pay attention to these moving averages on a shorter time frame. I'm just showing you the um, price action, you know, what happened in between those candles. Okay, so if we go on the daily chart, we'll see the whole day in one candle. And then if we go down to the 30 minute, we can see what happened inside that daily bar. So today we actually rallied a little bit, not too convinced with this. Um, it was pretty low volume too. And we got up to like, you know, halfway of, you know, yesterday's full move, right? Around 37.29. But we're gonna see what happens tonight. Um, Keep an eye on the futures. Again, that 36.92 level. If that does not hold, we will get some more selling down to 36.15. All right, so that's what I'm keeping an eye on. We could also take a look at NASDAQ really quick. Same kind of scenario. Um, this is more tech weighted, the NASDAQ index. And uh, we're gonna be looking at 12,658. If we can't hold above there, expect some more selling um, down to 12,314. So we could get some good deals on some stocks this week if we do get a little bit of a sell off. Um, and I do think, you know, once we get uh, somebody in the office, you know, I think we know who's going into the office, but once it's actually confirmed and official, and you know, the uh, whatever it's called inauguration, um, then I think we will see a little volatility, a little uh, sell off, and then the markets will continue to go back up. That's what I think. Um, but yeah, market update. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll do some more of these. Um, and yeah, pretty much just breaking down what the markets are doing, what you could look out for and you know thing, things things you need to watch all right things you need to know because when we're trading stocks we want to know what the overall market's doing and this is how we look at that okay so hope you guys have a great night um and enjoy these videos if you're new hit that subscribe button
and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll be doing these in the morning, afternoon, and probably at night too. So expect some more market updates coming your way. Have a good night.